Now, I'm not at just any Japanese restaurant. I happen to be at the original Nobu in Tribeca, Manhattan. There are now three Nobus in Manhattan, and uh, the man who is the general manager of all of them is here with me. He is Hiro Tahara. Hello, Hiro. Hello. Good nice to meet see you. you. Welcome it, to Nobu. It, indeed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for helping me out, at Pleasure. least, and everybody else. Pleasure. We mm -hmm. want to know what to do right in a Japanese restaurant. When you get to the table at a Japanese restaurant or to the sushi bar, very often the first thing that happens mm -hmm. is this towel comes right. out. Tell it's us about this. Oshibori. Oshibori. Right. To wipe your hands, and because you're going to use a finger, uh, you know, for, to eat uh, edamame and sushi. Yes. So not to wipe your face. Not to wipe your face. Right. Do yeah, not wipe, wipe your do face. Do not wipe your face. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then after you wipe your, you know, wipe your hands, just fold it yep. nicely and put it back on the oshibori tray. Chopsticks. You've got them here in your nice Nobu pack. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll certainly be using these during the course of the meal. Now, normally, when you get your chopsticks out of the pack, they are attached. Right. Any special advice on how to break them apart? So when you pick it up, you usually put the you know, chopstick paper on the side. On the side, side yes. Yep. And then it gets in the middle of the chopsticks. The middle? Yeah and just pull. Oh, okay. Because mm -hmm. if you pulled at the top, you might make a less clean right. break. So mm -hmm. it's the middle of the chopsticks yeah, that's chopsticks. very important. Mm -hmm. Now, here's something I see all the mm -hmm. time. I'm sure you do too. People go like this. Uh, uh, uh. It's a really bad thing to do it. It's what really, are they doing? It's really bad manner. Some people, like, you know, also old one, old bad chopsticks had a little bit of sprinter here. That's why they're trying to use it. But oh. now, you know, it's really bad manner. All right, so now we're going to start to think about um, eating sashimi. Okay. And in fact, eat some. Mm -hmm. um, now, this, I assume, we're eating with the chopsticks. Chopsticks, yes. yes. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and would I, uh, how would I decide which one to have first? We usually eat, you know, start from the lighter fish, which mm. is, you know, if uh, you know, I would eat, first one we eat the Japanese red snapper. Yes. And maybe another one is a maybe fluke. Okay. Yeah, and then tuna. It's a red meat. It's not a toro. Toro is over here. Toro is a really, you know, fatty fish. You know, right. so we should eat last. Show me exactly how you do the soy yes. sauce. Yes, soy sauce. We just pour into the soy sauce plate. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Um, is it is it the case that Americans perhaps use too much soy sauce? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of time I've seen it. It's some of these just pour the soy sauce all the way on top. You don't want to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. On each piece, you want just a little, little yeah, little drop. Yes. Okay. Now, I've also seen my uh, American confrere mix things into the soy sauce, like right. wasabi. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Uh, we don't do it. We actually, when you eat sashimi, you put a little bit of wasabi on top of the sashimi. Yes. Right. And then pick it up and yes. dip the soy sauce just a little bit. Go through it. Let's see. Yes. It. And then. Now I see on this sashimi plate, mm -hmm. there's no gari. Right. Gari for the sushi. And we usually don't eat curry with a sashimi. This is so great. Mm -hmm. So use the daikon yeah. as a palate cleanser with a little soy, if mm -hmm. you like, between sashimi slices. But between sushi slices, use the gari. So if you're ordering mm -hmm. sushi at a table, let's say you're two people, three people, four people, right. they'll bring you a platter with right. everything on it. One plate and serve for the table. So let's start to think about this. Let's take the most basic pieces. Mm -hmm. These guys here. Um, are called nigiri sushi, right? That's right. That's the classic, like on a sort of yes. finger of mm -hmm. rice. How do you eat it? Usually use a finger, not chopsticks. So, you know, over here. And then also you realize that there's no such, I mean, wasabi on the plate. Right. So it's wasabi is already inside. Okay, Hiro, would you be so kind as to just um, sort of consume a okay. piece of sushi for us? Sure. And we want to see your moves. All right. Okay. Um, you can use a finger. Okay. And whichever, as I told you, so, you know, probably from the lighter fish, so I try from Japanese red snapper. Okay. Pick this up like that. Turn it over. Mm -hmm. And dip the fish side, not rice side. Dip this way. Because if you dip the rice side... It's going to absorb the soy sauce. It's going to be too salty. Right. Now, do you eat it in one bite? One bite, yes. Lovely. Is there a way? Should you put it in rice down or fish down? Size. Does it matter? On the side. On the side? Yeah. Like I mean, this? Like that, yes. Ah, mm -hmm. I never knew that. <laughs> All right. We have here um, futomaki. That's right. A big roll. Mm -hmm. uh, this one stuffed with uh, soft shell crab fried. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not one bite. 
Right. Do you do this with hand or chopstick? And what do you do about the bites? I use a finger and then just pick it up. If it's really hard to eat one bite, of course you can eat half. Right. Of course, and then just dip a little bit of soy sauce. Right. And eat a little bit. Okay. But you don't want to put it back on the plate. Right. Because all the ingredients right. don't fall off. Okay, Hiro, now we come to one of my favorite things in the sushi meal, mm -hmm. which is, you know, what's called the battleship? What's the name of that? Yes, yeah, gunkan, gunkan, which means battleship in Japanese. Because it sort of looks that way. It's right. rice in the bottom, nori wrapped around, mm -hmm. and stuff on top. Yeah, there, you know, when you order those fish, you know, sushi at the table, order something else first, and then just order, you know, ikurai uni separately, because it comes with all those seaweed, gets soggy, so, you know, just want to eat you know, right away. So think of it as like dessert. Right, you order of, it later. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, the pickled ginger. When during the sushi course do you eat that? Oh, it's, it's a palate cleanser. So between the fish, you know, whenever you, know, you like to eat it, you can eat it. But, um, you know, it's not like you know, we just put it under a sushi right. on top of it. No, we no. don't do that. Would you show us how to eat the uni? Right, of course, you can use a finger. But, you know, as I told you, you don't want to dip the rice side. On a soy sauce, you don't want to do this. So either way you're gonna do is it's a good way actually we do is use a piece of ginger, use the ginger, dip in the soy sauce, and on top of it, just dip it a little bit. Ah! Yeah. Wow! And then you can How pick cool it is up that? Enjoy. How cool is that? Can I do that with yes. the salmon eggs mm -hmm. too? Yes. And then dip it on top of it a little bit. Yes. Genius. One bite. All right, one bite. Right, because this would be really messy to bite right, in half. Exactly. This is definitely one, one bite. One bite. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about the sushi chef who presented such beautiful things to us. Do we need to tip him? If I'm sitting at a table, yes. do I tip him? Of course, you know, it's most of the place actually tip pool. So servers and sushi chefs, they share the tips. Right. So you can just leave the tips on the table. Just leave a regular tip. Right. 15, 20% on That's the table. Right. Mm -hmm. If I'm sitting at the sushi bar, mm -hmm. same thing? Same thing. But if you like to tip extra to the sushi chef, of course you can give it to him, but you don't want to hand it to him because they are touching all fresh fish. Or get him maybe, you know, buy some glass of wine or beer probably, and then they can drink it after the chef. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you're at the end of a meal, as mm -hmm. we are, with sashimi and sushi, mm -hmm. and you're at a restaurant. What are the factors you think about, whether it's good or not? It's a clean place. You know, it's a very important thing, it's a clean sushi place, and then neat, and busy. You, know, you don't want to go to a slow place. Slow place, of course, it's, you don't have the fresh ingredients, and busy place is turnover, so you always have a great, you know, fresh ingredients there. Right. So, but you only want to go to the busy, clean sushi restaurant. So that's it for Eater's Etiquette today. Um, all you need to know at the Sushi Bar, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you, you learned a great deal, as I most certainly did. Mm -hmm. Shall we have some more sushi? Yeah, yeah. let's try it. Um, uh, I think we did a furumaki now. That's okay. Um, hand is okay. Yeah, it sounds fine, yes. Mm -hmm.